Good morning, everyone. Snowball, the self-management cat here. Self-management is our focus habit of mind for this half term, and I wanted to do something that meant that everyone started the week feeling ready to do their best and make good choices that will help them and everyone else in school to have a great week. I'd like to introduce you to Snowball's Mindfulness Mondays, a short and fun time each Monday to help us on our way to a super week. Monday mornings can be a bit tricky sometimes and hard to feel inspired, but we'll use Mindfulness Mondays to help each other get going really well. And it is my great pleasure this morning to introduce you to a new friend in our school family. Mindful Mango is going to help us each Monday as we go through his story called Mindful Mango's Adventures in Animal Academy. Mindful Mango's Adventures in Animal Academy. I'm sure you'll help Mango to feel super welcome and looked after at our wonderful, wonderful school. Thank you. Okay, Mango, your turn. Uh, hello everybody, I'm uh, Mango and Snowball tells me that you are all really friendly and kind, which is great because I'm, I'm feeling, well, very nervous uh, and quite worried. You see, I'm about to start going to Animal Academy where I'll be learning all about how to be the best possible animal I can be and all about the world around me too. It sounds really exciting, uh, but I'm worried. I'm going to miss my family and my panda friends too. I've not really met lots of other animals before and I don't know what it's going to be like. I know that Snowball is, is one of the teachers and she tells me that the other teachers are, are, are excellent too. There's a monkey called Gabbo uh, and a turtle called Shelly and and even a parrot called Rainbow, and lots of others too. Anyway, I, I'm starting next week, and I, I know I have to go, because that's what all young animals do. But starting new things is, well, big. Like, really big. And at the moment, it feels quite big and scary, and also big and exciting at the same time. I thought it might be quite helpful to, and fun, to share my story with you. Uh, and we're going to call it Mindful Mango's Adventures in Animal Academy. Or as I like to call it... Mm -mm, ah, ah, ah. Mindful Mango's Adventures at Animal Academy. Mm -mm, ah, ah, ah. Why don't you have a go? I quite like doing that. Mm -mm, ah, ah. It makes it sound like the forest where I grow up. Mm -mm. Ah, ah, ah. And we're going to have lots of fun going through my story of what it's like at Animal Academy each Monday. To start off, though, here are some things to help you get to know me uh, a bit better. My name is Mango because my favourite fruit is bananas. <clears throat> no, uh, uh, only joking. I love mangoes. I, I mainly eat bamboo. In fact, bamboo is, is pretty much the only thing I, I've ever ate. But uh, a little bird once told me about mangoes. And they sounded like the most delicious thing in the world. And one day, I hope I get a chance to eat one. Or maybe a thousand. Or maybe a million mangoes. I know, and now I can't stop thinking about mangoes, and that's why everyone calls me banana. Oh, I, I, I mean, mango. Anyway, I live in the mountains of southwest China, uh, which is a long way east of Romsey. Although, if you went west, you'd also get there too, because the world is round, a bit like a spherical mango. I have spent all my time so far with my family eating bamboo and thinking about mangoes. But next week I'm off to Animal Academy 
and it's going to be monumentally big. I'll tell you all about it. I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for being friendly.